French Gale guys, Nexus here, and welcome back to Destiny 2. And in today's video, guys, we are on the EDZ, of course, with our Noodle Face, and we'll get right into what he has. So, honestly, he hasn't got too many great things in terms of exotics. He's got a Winter Skull, 67, not too bad, Kefri's Horn, a Gwyn's Invest, and, of course, the Warcliff Coil. But what we are mainly interested in is, of course, going to be Legendary Weapons, and the one we're looking at today is going to be this Grid Skipper, because this is an absolute freaking god roll for this weapon. Multi-kill clip with, of course, Tunnel Vision, High Cali Rounds, Range Master Rick, and Chamber Compensator. This is legit one of the best rolls you can get in this, if not the god roll for the Grid Skipper. And as a 540, it can shred. So we'll be definitely using that. He has got a 7 Seraph, of course, with 4 times the Triumph Dragon's Fly. Extraordinary Renditions and Moment Trash. Again, not the best roll you can get in that one. He's got the Ikelos SOR V1 with Fragile and Incandescent. Again, not the greatest roll for that. He's got a Soul Survivor. Focus Fury Outlaw. People might like PvE, but again, it's better snipers PvE. He has got a freaking Incandescent Unrelenting the sword is not the best roll we'll click too many buttons and last but not least he's gonna have of course bad omens field prep kill clip and then obviously when it comes to uh hawk he's got an opening shot one with of course the uh, alloy and the freaking arrowhead actually not too bad with a texture grip and then he will have dmt with outlaw high cali rounds but this will be crossable next season so if you're looking for a god roll dmt i would wait till next season but as i said we are going to be looking at this grid skipper because this is an absolute banger put on the master put on the target adjuster if you want to this should be an absolute god tier pvp so to further ado Let's go in with the Grid Skipper Pulse Rifle. Alrighty, so we are going to be doing some rumble, of course, with the Grid Skipper. And this is what it's going to be like and everything. Now, you'll see that this is going to be an absolute bullet hose of a weapon. 540 RPM, when you have the full auto button on as well. It will spray like hell, and you will say that it will have a bit of a bounce to it. But I'm telling you, once you kind of get like, oh my god. Okay, that's a sidearm meta. <laughs> the drang. But once you kind of get used to, of course, the um, the spray of it and everything, you will honestly just annihilate. And when you get kill clip going, it's just going to be an absolute machine. And that's a lot of body shots. He's dead too. Oh my god, there's people everywhere. Get, let me get out of spawn, please. But yeah, 540 pulses and everything. And that's so unfair on this guy. Yo. No, he's freaking hitting a rift, buddy. Get out of the rift. Thank you. But yeah, 540s themselves. I will definitely say that when it comes down to the weapon, they can absolutely wreck out. And especially when you kind of get kill kip going for them as well. You will absolutely annihilate people. I will definitely say though, 340s and everything are way easier to use at the moment. Obviously, people go for them more often. Because they're way easier to handle and everything, and also they can double burst and everything. But as I said, when you get the kill clip going in this sort of weapon, it will absolutely wreck out. And this has like some of the better range for this pulse rifle do. But there's the freaking, as I said, there's the tunnel vision with, of course, that range. So easy headshots and then freaking easy kills. Now, what the, buddy? <laughs> oh, I got two. <laughs> I thought they killed each other. Oh, I get this guy though as well. And yo, young man, get your cheeks back here. Oh, buddy, you gotta die for me because there's a dude right behind me. Oh, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Cardstein, save me! Cardstein, save me! Oh my god, he's 1 HP. I thought I had him enough. I needed the heal. There were so many people there for whatever reason. But yeah, if you play into the strengths of this pulse rifle, you do, will do absolute work. As 340s are great, but with the coming nerfs coming next season in terms of um, the range equalizations and everything, 340s, they're not going to be bad or anything, but they're definitely going to, I wouldn't say struggle, but they won't be as kind of sweet as they are now compared to what this is like now and the healing lady did. I'm gonna shot in the ass. I'm gonna shot in the ass. Yo, buddy, 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 buddy. <laughs> oh my god, why is there so many people here? Why is it always me? They're everywhere. But you can see that if you get people when they're caught out or whatever, you will just shred them so fast. It's sort of like a, I'd say a longer range sort of, um, yo, buddy, how are you still there? <laughs> but it's like a sort of long range sort of, um, auto rifle. That's the best way of looking at it, especially with the full auto and the RPM. It's just an absolute bullet hose. And with the high cali rounds, it means that you can just flinch people. To absolute kingdom come now. Is there a guy going for heavy or are they just chilling? Yo, buddy. Buddy, buddy, buddy. Okay, this is the guy with his freaking shotgun. Screw you, buddy. I'm not getting slid on by Anita's wards again. And you know what? He's going to take off heavy. Oh my god, my man has the biggest kahunas ever. He, he sees it got heavy and he challenges? My good freaking god. But, oh, I feel bad for this guy. But not too bad, I won't kill him. <laughs> bye bye but yeah it's not just that the grid skipper isn't like a good archetype and obviously it's a good uh, pulse rifle and everything as well i do think that this has a really clean ass scope too so the scope is definitely something i would say you can kind of go in with and it's definitely a really sweet one now buddy 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 screw you and your anita's war it's <laughs> oh he's gonna win the game off that as well bungie why why are you giving them easy freaking mode he's using the slug shotgun with freaking anita's oh you know what we're gonna pop our super and uh, we're actually gonna lose my what? You died to the freaking thing? I super died to a drang. Oh my god, that's the end of it, really. Alrighty, so we're gonna do another rumble game because the last one was quicker than me and Ben. It's a shotgun going around this corner. Oh, it's a juggernaut. Yep, you know what? 
I'm all good with fighting that Anitas. It's going to slide around that corner. We're going to go this way. But um, as I said, this grid skipper, it actually is a banger of a roll. You can definitely stay out. Like you can see, even a rifty guy there. It's absolutely freaking destroyed. So yeah, I will definitely say that. When it comes to the pulse rifle, it's definitely going to be really good to pick up because it has, like, as I said, this god roll kind of going for it in terms of the range and obviously the... Uh, oh, yo, buddy. <gasps> yo, wait, the... Is that guy's strike? That was guy's strike. <laughs> but obviously, it's got the range going for it and it has this kill clip going as well. So when someone rounds a corner like this, I mean, it's annihilation. Uh, tunnel vision obviously coming in as well. People might say that you don't really need tunnel vision as much because... This guy doesn't have his rift, right? This is the guy who uses his rift. First time. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's using a trip mine. I mean, that is your you match your name, buddy. Anomaly? Yeah. What warlock? What self-respecting warlock uses a freaking trip mine grenade? But with the 340s kind of changing as well and everything in terms of range find or whatever. This could honestly become really, really dope. Now does it do this here? Oh, it's anomaly. It's anomaly. Yo, buddy. <laughs> oh my god, we got him around the wall. How I do not know, but we'll take it. But I'm telling you, even when people rush you, usually you're kind of screwed with a pulse rifle. But this one honestly has a freaking chance. Um, and you see, we got the kill. We'll take it. It has a chance, as I said, because the RPM is just so high. You actually have a smidgen of a chance. Yo, is there a dude AFK up here? You know, boy. So, oh, oh, he's not AFK. He's not AFK. I repeat, he's not AFK. I got bamboozled. We got filled, but we still got the kill. <laughs> oh my god, that would have been so embarrassing. But yeah, I will say that um, once you kind of get used to the ranges and, of course, the, uh, the engagements you can go with this, you will do work. Um, I will definitely say that you're not going to be really wanting to use this up close. And uh, Yo, buddy. Young man, get your ass back here. He's going to slide me. Oh, my God. That's shotgun. That's shotgun. That's shotgun. <laughs> headshot. Yep, we'll take it. <laughs> Don't ask me how to headshot because I was aiming at his nutsack. But, uh, yeah, if you get used to, of course, the engagements where this is going to be effective, you will do absolute work. Now, I will definitely say... Oh, the currency saved me. Thank you. I will definitely say that up close, do not try this really up close as much as you really want to. And of course, at range. Oh, oh. <laughs> we got him. Oh my god. But at range and everything, you will struggle a little bit depending. And oh my god, I just got crapped on. But you will struggle, of course, you're coming up against scouts and 340 or whatever. But when you're coming up against like hand cannons, you will outrange them with this. Because as I said, it's got that range. Um, Master we're going for it as well. And as I carry around, so you will be flinching those guys using those um, scout rifles and everything. So I definitely will say, there's so many things going for this. This is, by definition, a, a god roll for this weapon. Now, yo. Oh, it's the freaking trip, my warlock! Ah! Buddy, we both suck. We both suck, anomaly. How do I not kill him there? And then he gets traded. I, I will honestly say, nothing strikes fear in me more than a warlock who's using a freaking trip mine because he just knows what's up. He, he is skilled in the ways of a trip mine. He must only use trip mines on Hunter and he's like, oh, I'll try my warlock out. And he just needs the trips. <laughs> and that's I got a shotgun. Yo, buddy. Oh! Yo, he actually nearly got the Rick Ross uh, or Criss Cross applesauce in my ass. What the hell was that? Um, there's a dude. Did you trade, boys? And that's... I'm definitely gonna get shotgun here. <gasps> Yo, young man. I nearly have my freaking melee. I nearly have my melee. No, I've made it out. Buddy. Buddy. Oh my god. I'm, I'm so getting pushed in the ass. Oh my good god. No. No. <laughs> They're all there. Do this weapon and everything. It will do absolute work for you if you want to uh, try buy it off there. I'm, no, screw this. Screw it. Oh. Buddy, I need to get back in. <laughs> but yeah, you're going to do absolute work if you do buy this off Zer. It's only a couple of shards, so I would definitely recommend to get it. I know there has been, there's been other grid skippers people have gotten. And people might already have their uh, god roll grid skipper because you used to be able to, of course, kind of farm for it. But I definitely will say that when it comes down to the weapon overall, and I didn't get to use it. Stop, buddy. Buddy, buddy, buddy. Oh, what the? No! No, I'm getting sauce! Oh! Let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out. Yo, yo. Oh! I have to, boys. I have to whip the shotgun out. The man tried to drop a well on my ass. Oh, my good God. That's my strat, buddy. You cannot take my strat. I know I'm being dominating a wall, but you cannot take my strat like that. We're just going to keep jiggle peeking this guy. Oh, my God. I got absolutely blasted. What was that? Can I actually... I wonder if I can actually burst him out of this real quick with this thing. And he actually... Oh, buddy, you've got a well right beside you. Why are you rifting? This guy is a pure anomaly. I don't understand this place though. He's a trip mine warlock with freaking a well of radiance beside him and he pops a freaking rift beside his ass. What? I have no idea. We'll get this guy and that's another freaking well guy. Oh, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Oh, I'm so dead now. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even hit him with it. Oh god, your man's gonna win it. The Juggernaut Titans again winning the freaking game. But I will definitely say that. Oh my god, Bungie Ree. Oh. 
No, no, not again. You ain't killing me on spawn with your super. But yeah, I will definitely say that overall, this grid scaper, it's a banger. I would definitely pick it off Zer because it can go in PvP. PvE, maybe not so much for PvP. 100% give it a shot, buy it off him. It's like 20 shards. It is definitely worth it. Well, that is it for me. And of course, the grid skipper that Zer is currently selling, he is selling an absolute banger, boys. I know people will be like, ah, oh, Zer always has mid stuff. He's always got terrible stuff. But sometimes he comes out with the goods. And I will tell you that this grid skipper, legit, the best roll you can pretty much get. Some people might say you want more range in terms of, I know, I don't know, rifle barrel, or whatever. But I will say that the chamber compensator is just so good because stability, this, <laughs> this was bounce. And this is on PC. You can see a 65 stat. You can. Make it 85 or 80 or something like that with a counterbalance. But I wouldn't like to kind of tent left. That's why I didn't want to use it because you want to kind of keep it dead straight a little bit. But I will say the grid skipper, this will bounce. And that's why this roll is honestly god tier. Chamber compensator, high Kali rounds, of course, tunnel vision, multi kill clip. You can't really get much better when it comes to the PvP side, of course, with a 540. So I would 100% say go get this off Zera. As I said, Zera generally comes with absolutely terrible gear. But sometimes it comes up with the goal as like a main ingredient or a grid skip or something. I'm telling you guys, with the changes coming into the game come next season, higher RPM weapons might start doing a lot more work, especially once I have a decent-ish range because they are going to be fixing the ranges a little bit in terms of range finder and everything. And hopefully SMGs aren't going to be as good anymore as well. So this pulse rifle might become an absolute banger next season. I know people might use autumn winds and of course um, the peace of mind and everything. But when it comes to a good energy pulse rifle... 100% give this one a shot because it's an absolute freaking banger. But regardless, if you like the video, show us a like. I'd want to see more content. Subscribe and for today. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next collective in the next one.